There will be no fighting. Just a little? No fighting. Your mother says there won't be any fighting. Hey, Will, come here. Come here. I'll tell you what I used to do when people would pick on me. What I'd do, you see, is I'd drop down to the ground and roll up in a little ball. And I'd start scratching my scalp real fast. And then I'd tell them I had a really bad case of head lice. <laughs> Believe me, nobody wanted to get near me. Sounds like a good formula for world peace. Well, come here, look. Uh, why don't you talk to this kid and see if the two of you can work it out peacefully, you know? And then, if that doesn't work, you just tell the little thug that your mother's the criminal prosecutor and she'll try him as an adult. I think I'll try her my dad did first. <laughs> good idea. Nobody's come near Herman in years. Uh, I hope he'll be okay. No, I'll watch out. Well, good. I'm glad you're in the mood to be so helpful because, you know, Stephanie's still going to be here any minute and I need someone to take her around and show her some hospitality. Mom, look, I told you before, I, I don't want to escort some old lady around town. Stephanie's my age. Exactly. <laughs> and yet we kept having children. <laughs> You get over here right this instant and give your sorority sister a hug. Ah! Oh, God. Look at you. Oh, long. my gosh, you're so pretty. Oh. I love your hair. Oh, oh. Hey, hi. How are you? Hi. Hey, I'm Taylor Newton. Hi. And, um, I'll be your escort for the night. Would you have shaved your knuckles for her? I would have cut off my whole hand. Got my front porch sweet. A glass of lemonade, a baby on my knee, I think I got it made. You'd best be believing, I'm never leaving even shade. They got ten cent stores, no locks on the doors, and everybody knows your name. They got Sunday school, the golden rule, and every day that passes is slower than molasses, and you can't help but smile. Lying in the shade So come on down and you'll be glad you stayed Don't talk about leaving I'm never leaving in the shade He took you to Dervini Wonderland? <laughs> he sure knows how to treat a girl. Oh, you're not <laughs> treated. Then we went to this wild, well, maybe I shouldn't say it, wild, kind of wild, frat party. Young sir. Where we did <laughs> some song called Dev. It's insane, insane in the membrane. membrane. I don't know. I mean, when we were in school, we had songs that meant something, like Funky Town. Exactly, exactly. I have not moved so fast since I found my husband working overtime, you know, with his secretary. That time. Mm -hmm. Let me guess. She was demonstrating her skills in shorthand. You got it. So you know me, Ava. Mm -hmm. I had to demonstrate my skills. In soccer. Oh, she shoots, she scores. You bet, which is more than he's going to be doing for a long, long time. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, hi, honey. Hi. What are you laughing at? Oh. Soccer. <laughs> you know, I always, I always wonder what girls laughed at when they went to the ladies' room. <laughs> You are such a lucky woman, oh. really. Guys like Wood are one in a million, believe me. I know. Gotta go. Bye, guys. Bye. Have fun. Bright, intelligent. I always liked her. There you are, you miserable excuse for a father. Oh. And I never liked her. Listen here. If this is the way you teach somebody to defend themselves, then no wonder you can't even win a football game. Dan, when he said to stand up to a bully, mm. he didn't tell me I get tossed around like a rag doll. Well, here's what you do next time. The next altercation. You grab him by the ears and you take your head and you bite him. No! What? No! <laughs> There's not going to be any fighting. Just a little bit. No fighting. No fighting. I can't fight Bobby anyway. Bonnie, now what's the matter? Is he bigger than you are? No, she's bigger than me. Well, I hope this makes you and the rest of the woman's movement happy.
You know, I, I, I got a crazy feeling that that girl really likes you. A punch in the gut is a funny way to show it. <laughs> yeah. Slide over. Well, I'm gonna save you 20 years of frustration. You are never, ever gonna understand women. Does Mom ever tie you up and sit on you? <laughs> now, that's a little complicated. Well, then how does Mom show you she likes you? Oh, there's lots of ways. I mean, sometimes she makes me my favorite dessert. So is that why I found whipped cream in your bedroom? <laughs> That's a little complicated, too. You remember when your older brother brought home the little boy hamster and the little girl hamster, and then all of a sudden we had eight hamsters? Yeah, that was cool. Huh. How'd that happen? Darn if I know. <laughs> I'm confused. So am I. You know, I was really confused before I met your mother. You mean you weren't confused anymore? No, I'm still confused, but I'm so happy, you know, just being with her, that I don't care. And that's what I wish for you. I wish for you that you find a woman just like your mom, and you marry her, and you live together forever. But what about right now? What am I supposed to do about Bobby? Well, you could talk to her about soccer. Soccer? Mm, they seem to think that's funny. <laughs> I love you, pal. Love you too, Dad. We are the Delta, so be a smarty. Take out a Delta. We love to party! In case you missed it, we are the Deltas. But then you knew that because you felt us. <laughs> Maybe you, uh, better not sing the third verse, because... Oh, that's... that's okay. Well, guys, mm, as much as I love hearing about what a party animal my mom used to be... <laughs> right. I gotta get going. I got the... Oh. Bogart in film class tonight. Oh, wait a minute. Your mother and I are paying tuition for you to go to college. You see, Bogey, he's on television more than Gilligan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Bogart, though, don't you? Oh, yeah, you know, uh, last week we saw it's Have and Have Not. Oh, please. Bogey and Bacall, was there ever anybody more romantic? You know how to whistle, don't you? Just put your lips together and blow. <laughs> he knows how to whistle. And we're very proud of him. <laughs> Good night, Taylor. Great. Right. Bye. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know, tonight we're seeing Casablanca. And, uh, well, does anybody whistle in that? That is my favorite movie. Ava Wood, he has never seen Casablanca. But there's no end to his innocence. <laughs> um, would you like to come? Oh, what a great idea. <laughs> what a great idea. I mean, for him to see Casablanca for the first time <laughs> with you, and, 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 and you and I could stay home and, and, and learn the lyrics to the sorority song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Taylor, Stephanie doesn't want to sit in a college theater with a bunch of kids. Are you kidding? I'd love it. I'd love to go see Casablanca with you. I'll never forget my first time. It was magic. It was, wasn't it? Why don't we all go? Uh, no, no, no. I've seen Casablanca 50 times. We better go. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Taylor, you are about to experience one of the greatest love stories of all time. Don't wait up. Uh. <laughs> Did you see the way he looked at her? He looked at her like he was late to see a film. You don't get it. Well, apparently not tonight. <laughs> well, I really love Casablanca. I'm so happy I got to see my first time with you. Yeah, me too. This could be the start of a beautiful friendship. Yeah, you can count on it. Here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> Good 
my college friend got to first base with my son. What is it about you? Baseball makes you angry, soccer makes you happy. Listen, John, I really don't see the problem about an older woman dating a younger man. No, you get them early, you can train them right up. So, uh, Stephanie's looking for a little action, huh? Why didn't you tell me? I would have gone out with her. Yes. And you should have. I, I asked you to do this one little favor for me, but no, you're, you're way too preoccupied with your hairy little digits. Hey, stop. I'm real sensitive about that. Thanks for that advice, Dad. Oh! oh. What happened? Well, I tried to run from Bobby, and she caught me. She throws a mean punch for a campfire girl. All right, that's it. I'm gonna have a little talk with Bobby's father. Tell him that we don't do things like that here in evening shade. Hey, Will. Will, come here a second. Did you try that head lice thing I told you about? No, still my arm's pinned down. Oh. Oh, shoot, you know... Darn it, you know what I should have told you about? It's this thing I come up with when I visited New York City. What you do is you let your eyes kind of roll back up in the back of your head. And then you quack like a duck. Quack, 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 And then you go, sky's falling, sky's falling, sky's falling. Got me all the way across Times Square without even a second glance. And you know what else I found out? If you wet your pants, you can get you a seat on the subway. <laughs> well, don't worry, your dad's taking care of it. And listen, when you're in New York, take a cab. <laughs> Well, Dr. Kissinger, is the peace treaty signed? No. It's a little momentary setback. Bobby's father's coming over the house to beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not going to fight this man. Just a little bit. Uh, you don't fight him. She's killing us. <laughs> Come on in, show me what you got. Okay, big guy. Where do you want to do this? Inside or out? Who are you? I'm the guy who's going to slap you in the next week. You're Bobby's father. Yeah. How's that possible? I slept with her mother. Now, come on. Let's rock and roll. Look, uh... <laughs> I'm not going to fight you. Why not, Peckerwood? Because my wife said I couldn't. <laughs> what a scare. I mean, he kicked me right in the knee. And then he gave me a quick jab. You lost the fight. Well, I didn't really lose the fight. I mean, your mom said, no fight. Was he bigger than you? That's not the point. <laughs> Your dad was just using the uh, nonviolent approach. That's right. I didn't want to stoop to his level. I'm proud of you, Dad. Right. You really showed this guy who's boss. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> Come on, Will. Let's get out of here before this poor, pathetic image of Daddy gets burned into our memories forever. Too late. <laughs> Hi, bye. Oh. Hey, Dad, what happened? I listened to your mother. What happened to which side? Oh, he got beat up. But tell me about you two. <laughs> and your incredibly long day together. Oh, it was uh, it was fantastic. Yeah. It was wonderful, wasn't it? We had this great picnic up at Miller's Pond. A seven-hour picnic. Good for you. <laughs> hey, is there something wrong? 
You were acting exactly like that time in college, remember? When I went out with Jeffrey Brandt after you dumped him. Oh, don't be ridiculous. That was years ago. <laughs> years and years and years ago. <laughs> Ava, I'm not that old. Oh, well, Research I mean, said I am just hitting my peak. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I gotta go take that pill. What pill? For my allergies. <laughs> Man, isn't she great? So knowledgeable, too. Okay, Buster. What do you think you're doing? Just what my mommy told me to do. Showing your friend around. <laughs> well, you picked a hell of a time to start listening to me. <laughs> Taylor, Stephanie is 20 years older than you. Do, you. do you realize that when you're 70, she'll be dead? <laughs> Come on, man. Not necessarily. I mean, have you seen her body? She's obviously in great shape. Yeah, she's in excellent shape. I want you to stop looking at her shape this instant. <laughs> Mom, she's no older than Dad was when you married him. Oh, that's completely different. Why? Because I said so. Look, Taylor, huh? right now you may think you love her. I don't love but her. But take it from me, you don't love her. You don't love her? Hmm? <laughs> but I, I, I saw you kissing. What? You were spying on us in the car? No! In the theater? No. On our picnic? No, on the porch. Oh, on the porch. Oh. That's yeah. good because you know nothing happened those other yeah. places. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Uh, look, Mom, come on now. Look, I know you mean well, okay? But I'm my own person now, and if I'm gonna date an older woman, you're just gonna have to accept it, okay? I know I will. It's just... Uh... It's just never going to be that easy, you know? I mean, you have to understand. I still see you as that sweet little boy who cried the first day of kindergarten. Well, that was you that was crying. Well, I knew it was one of us. <sighs> Look, Taylor, I guess what I'm trying to say is just... just be careful. I just don't want you to get hurt. And if you continue to date my friends, I will hurt you. <laughs> I, I, I really don't think you have anything to worry about as far as Stephanie and I are concerned. Well, thank God. Be because of the age difference? No, no, no. That works out great for me. It's the uh, fact that she lives 2,000 miles away. I, I don't have enough gas money. <laughs> Woo! I mean, now, that's the shiniest thing that I've seen since Herman decided he was going to experiment with Jerry Curl. Hey, Don Cornelius said it would work with any type of hair. Hey, Coach. How bad you get the other guy? I think I scratched his knuckles on my eye. Well, I'm proud of Wood. He didn't fight. Oh, yeah, it takes a big old man just to stand there and get his butt kicked. I was definitely the bigger man. There's my future mother-in-law. What? Just, just kidding. Excuse us. Ava, can I speak to you? <laughs> yeah, only if you promise not to make any more jokes like that. I promise. <laughs> Taylor, you told me that you saw us kissing. I guess it was at the bowling alley, huh? No, because nothing happened there. But I know it, ha it had to be very hard for you, strange for you, to see the two of us together like that, wherever it was. And, and I know that it didn't show the best judgment on my part. No, but no. Abe, I just want you to understand that Taylor is the first guy that has come along since my divorce. It's, he's really made me feel good about myself, you know? And, and I just got caught up in it. It was just a little hard for me to see you kissing my son. On the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Can we just drop this? <laughs> okay, listen, today's my last day in evening shade. Okay, listen, for old times' sake, you and me, like, hang out together all day, okay? Okay, all day, I'll okay, like, tonight, oh. there's a gnarly party. Oh, 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 no, gag me. Those are guys who are such turbo tweets. <laughs> I know, you don't <laughs> You're going to thank, thank us, because if we're naughty, naughty we'll, we'll let you... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. This is my new friend, Bobby, and her mom. And this is the Hi, guy Bobby. who knocked out Dad. <laughs> Coach Noon, I'm sorry about your eye. 
I'm afraid Nick has a short view. He's Italian. The little woman's right, big guy. I hope you accept my apology. Forget about it. All of you forget about it. Uh, this is the fellow who punched you out. <laughs> He's good. This is good. Five years of material. Well, I certainly see why you didn't want to fight him. And why is that? Four eyes. Oh, uh, maybe I should just take a piece of you right now. Oh, come on now. I didn't mean anything personal about it. I mean, you got it with me. I mean, come on, you know, nerd boy. I'm going to kick your butt up one no, side of the street and down the other. Now, hold on. You just say, I didn't mean anything personal about it. Don't, don't forget have to... the lights in your head. You know, duck and spread, duck and spread, duck and spread. It's never easy for parents to watch their sons on the rocky road of romance. But whether or not they feel their boys have made the right choice, Wood and Ava Newton discovered it's best not to put up a fight in a place called Evening Shade. Hi, Mark McEwen here. Now, the choice between a weekend in Paris or Brooklyn seems obvious, unless you're the Cumberbatches, a family as outrageous as the Bunkers. The laughs are on the house at 704 Hauser. Next.